look, y'all, we come at regular show is bad. Listen, y'all gonna call me a hater. Y'all gonna call me a bunch of different names. But listen, I feel like um, everybody has run out of original ideas. Um, they still make it SpongeBob movies. They bring it back for regular show. And I feel like it ended off pretty, pretty good. I feel like they don't need to uh, continue that story at all. Avenger Time is coming back. They just bring a bunch of a bunch of shows that that don't need to come back, and I feel like uh, it's because one companies are running out of money. Number one, number two, niggas don't have no like like every time they drop an original, it's trash. Like it's it's terrible. I haven't seen nothing original um, show wise that's really necessarily amazing. Like I think in that last pass, maybe four four. Yeah, maybe four to five years, we really haven't had anything crazy. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions down below. Let's go ahead and get to be welcome new people, new subscribers. Ugh. All right, bro. So this is a little talk to me, talk to me. Normal, but we just got massive regular show news. Let me know. So if you haven't been keeping up, over the last couple of years, Cartoon Network has been bringing back a lot of their shows that have recently ended. Why? Adventure Time, which ended in 2018, would go on to have a spinoff with Adventure Time Distant Lands in Why? 2020. And Ask yourself that. And have another spinoff with Adventure Time Fiona and Cake, mm. which got approved for a season two not that long ago. Then we have the Amazing World of Gumball, which in 2016 was announced. They bring that back. Sixth season, but fast forward to 2023, and it's being announced that the Amazing World of Gumball is not only getting its own movie, but it's also being renewed for a season seven. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, why are they bringing it back? And I'm not a hater. Like, if y'all gonna bring it back, please do it right. But don't bring stuff back just for the like. For the sense of just bringing it back, like make it good, please. Then there's Steven Universe, which while there hasn't been any confirmed projects, the creator Rebecca Sugar I got said the online cartoon community on fire a couple months ago after releasing new official artworks of all of her characters older. On top of that, she's been very vocal over the years saying that if fans can make enough noise for Steven Universe, then she would love to bring this series back. Which made many people speculate that this artwork was her teasing a new project. And if you were to ask which shows were at the top of Cartoon Network during the 2010s, many people would say these three shows plus regular show. And with all these shows coming back and some- Plus? Plus? No, nigga. No, 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 no. Regular show was one of those. Not, not plus. It was them. It was regular show, Adventure Time, Amazing World on Bob. Plus Steven Universe. Don't put no, no, no. <laughs> what is you talking about? Only shape or form no. within the revivals or spinoffs. I've always had the mm -hmm. opinion that regular show would come back. Especially since JG Quintel, the creator of regular show, has never actually shut down the chance of a revival. They just you know, know animation is booming and if, if people still remember the regular show after <laughs> We finish this, who knows, maybe I could do more. So I'm scrolling on the internet this morning looking for topics to make TikToks on when I see that one of my friends sends me an image on Instagram. And I open it up only to see a tweet saying that a new regular show series is in the works. Now of course naturally I think this is fake. Until I Google search and see that a bunch of other news outlets have confirmed that a regular show series has not only been announced but is currently in production. Wow. And brother, this is huge because not I know only is regular be show one of the greatest Got cartoons to. of all time, but it's also one of the most successful Cartoon Network shows in history. I mean regular show is only the third Cartoon Network show in history to get a movie put in theaters. Only rivaled by Ed and Eddie and the Powerpuff Girls, two massive franchises. And what makes this announcement even better is that it's confirmed that this new series will be made by J.G. Quintel, the original wow, creator of okay, show. Okay. So we don't have to worry about so might be a coming classic. in and messing with the world of regular show, the park members, or the random style of the series. Because the only person touching it is the person who actually created it and worked on it for eight seasons. And personally, I just want to say thank you to everyone who kept this fandom alive. Thank you to everyone who never forgot about this goat of a series and everyone who kept making noise saying that they would love to see regular show come back. Because I'm not going to lie, a new regular show series announcement in 2024 was not on my bucket list. But regardless of if it was on my bucket list or not, it feels so good knowing that we're getting more regular show content going forward, especially since other projects that had that regular show. Listen, listen, before this video continues on going on, I just want to say before we get deeper into this video, I think regardless if they bring it back or not, we're going to have, we're going to go watch it because one, it's nostalgic. Two, I don't think it's going to hit the sand. Only because we're older now. And maybe, and maybe that's not true. Maybe, because like, I could go, I could watch regular show now. Like, and just be like, oh my God, this is amazing. I could watch the Adventure Time. And I could watch all of these shows and be like, yo, this is amazing. But do y'all think like, like now that we have grown older, would the topics have to change or like they could still do the same thing? Well, it's not going to be 
I, I doubt it's more to kind of Rick me now because they have families, right? Like, uh, Rigby has kids. Uh, from what I remember from, like, the little, like, end clip. Don't they have, like, kids and stuff now? And since, like, and close enough, is probably Ruby married or got a girlfriend or something? Endings. Now, after seeing this announcement that we're getting a new regular show series, the first place my mind went to was regular show 25 years later. Now, some of you may not know, but in 2018, a regular show comic book titled Regular Show 25 Years Later was released after the end of the series. Really? It was a six-part comic book story that was kind what of like an hell? epilogue of the original series. And it took place immediately after the final seconds of the last episode. It basically revolved around Mordecai and Rigby, who at this point in the series were well into their 40s, going on long last adventure. Wow. It's a great movie, and you should definitely go check it out if you like regular show. But this is really I where I thought that. if regular show was to ever come back, this story would be what they would adapt. Or I hope so, that's fine. From. But in the official announcement, it was actually said that the new regular show series will be focused on a whole new cast of characters alongside appearances from the original cast. Which I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really that opposed to. The regular uh, show universe is so big and has so many interesting characters that could have gotten their own spin-offs or at least a couple more episodes focusing mm, on their own. So I think having a show in the regular show world while also focusing on new faces I'm gonna trust them, I'm trust a lot them. more possibilities and adventures. Because let's be real, although we all love Mordecai and Rigby, we've seen our boys go on adventures for eight seasons now. And I can't really see how they would have anything they've done before. Part of the charm of regular show was that it was like a coming of age story in a way. In the beginning of the series, we were introduced to Mordecai and Rigby as two slackers who didn't know what they wanted to do in their life fresh out of high school. Shut up, my but throughout the series, we got to see them grow and become more responsible and capable people up until the final episode. So it wouldn't really make sense for them to keep getting into all the crazy adventures that they used to when part of the reason why there were so many adventures was because they were immature and had to face their mistakes. Sure. I think a new cast of characters could do really well as the main focus while also having Mordecai and Ricky as more mentor figures, which is actually something we kind of see in the show 25 years. It's not going to work. And of course, the rest of the park crew, like Vincent, Skips, Muscle Man, and Fives, would always be good supporting characters going forward to the new leads. I don't know, I just think with JG Quintel being a part of this project, I can't really see it not being good or not feeling like regular show. That's true. Hell, even close enough, which really was its own show and wasn't too similar to regular show, still felt like you were watching regular show in a way. Even though they really went in a whole different direction with that show. So with them right actually show? trying to make a new regular show series, I honestly think it will be done well. And I know when a lot of shows get brought back, it only seems good at first because of nostalgia. Is that, that's what I'm saying. Back, and you think it's going to be as good as when you watched it when you were a kid, but then you watch the reboot and you realize, man, it just doesn't hit the same. Is that? But honestly, I don't think that's going to be the case with this. Because oh, even though regular show aired on Cartoon Network and was marketed towards kids, regular show always felt like it was meant for a more mature audience. That's true. And it was clear while watching the show, especially in the earlier seasons, that JG Quintel and the writers were really pushing the boundaries of what they could actually get away with putting a regular show while staying kid friendly. And I'm someone who frequently goes back and watches regular show episodes to make my to YouTube make videos, and the show has only gotten better the older I've gotten. And I have a feeling when this new series comes out, they'll bump up the age rating for it so that they can really lean into what they want to put do on the Network? series. Now, I put out a video on TikTok and Instagram basically reporting that we're getting a new regular show series. And while most people were overwhelmingly happy, mm. I've seen a couple comments of people saying that all reboots are trash and that they're just going to ruin regular show. Pretty much. Now, number one, this is not a reboot. They are not rebooting the series. This is a new series following a new cast of characters with old it characters. It might be fire, though. I hope it is. It's more like a continuation of the series following a different set of characters. Number two. Did y'all see they got like a, I think it's a series of Sausage Party coming out. I don't know if it's out yet, but my God. There's like, I, bro, I was young when I watched Sausage Party, which is actually insane. Y'all seen Sausage Party? If you're young, do not go watch that movie again. Like, I, I actually, I, I actually regret saying that on this video. If you are young, do not watch that movie. Do right? people need do to not watch that movie. narrative that do not, time something not watch that movie. is trashed? It's just not true. Because yes, I can't even speak of what it's about. I can't even speak. That would go on to become it's hard. Trash. There's usually reasons and circumstances it's around hard. why it turns out that way. With one of the biggest ones being that the original creator isn't involved. But that isn't the case for this new regular show series. We know that J.G. Quintel will be involved every step of the process. And I don't know about y'all, but I have a lot of faith in the boy Quintel. And okay. this whole idea that this new regular show series is going to be trash is so crazy because over the last couple of years, we've seen that if you put the time, the care, and the effort into a project, you can make an amazing spin-off or revival not, of a show. One not. of the best and most recent examples of this is Adventure Time Fiona and Cake. This spinoff was originally supposed to be a one-off put on HBO Max just as a little treat for Adventure Time fans. Okay. But it would actually go on to become one of the best shows released in all of 2023. 
and it would really? get so much positive attention that it was later announced that it would be renewed for a season I've never two, seen this. I got which I called it before it even happened because I knew there was no way they were going to pass on continuing this show after how much praise it received. And a part of that praise was because it felt exactly like Adventure Time. Wow. Even though the main focus of the show wasn't on Finn and Jake, and up. this time around Fiona and Kate were in the spotlight, nothing about it didn't feel like Adventure Time. It still had the same animation, the same type of comedy, all of the side characters in the world felt the same. It didn't feel like you were watching some watered down version of the original series. Mm. You could tell while they made the show, even though it was a spinoff, they wanted it to feel as close as possible to Adventure Time, and they achieved it. That's and still to this day, I haven't heard a single person say that Adventure Time Fiona and Cake was a bad show. Okay. Then on the other side of the coin, we have the Sky Pilgrim Takes Off anime. This released around the same time last year, and it was amazing. It was a spinoff of the original comics, and even though it followed a new story, it was an amazing show. From animation to fight scenes to overall plot, and it gave characters a lot more development. And many, many Sky Pilgrim fans loved it. And on top of that, the creator of the original story was there to help work on it. So I think the people that are hating on the idea of a regular show spinoff need to sit down and relax. It's very much possible to not only make a good spinoff, but to make a great one. And not only that, this spinoff is not going to, in some type of way, hurt the legacy of regular show. Nah, because yeah. I've seen certain people say that regular show had a great ending and this is going to ruin the series. Regular show will always be regarded as one of the greatest cartoons of all time. Bad. I understand that is very near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. I mean, it's very obvious that many of us grew up on it. It was our childhood and in a current landscape where many of us see all these trashy reboots being released year after year, many people don't want to see regular show go down the same route. That's but true. in this that's situation, me. I don't see that being the case. I don't think regular show is going to go on to become some kid show that's absolutely terrible that Cartoon Network Teen makes Titans. for money like Teen Titans Go or the Ben 10 reboot. Max. Rather, I think Ooh, this is just on, adding on. to What's the you? regular show frame. Hey, I'm a big Ben 10 fan. Well, I used to be. I, uh, I don't really care about Savannah. Be terrible that Cartoon Network milks for money like Teen what? Titans Go or the Ben 10. Oh, hell Rather, no. I think this is just hell? adding to the regular show franchise and giving more content to the diehard regular show fans. And like I keep saying, Quintel's working mm -hmm. on the project and most people that created something amazing don't like to see it be turned to trash, so my hopes are very high. Sure. But I'm actually very excited for this regular show spinoff. I remember putting out a video a couple months ago on TikTok basically saying that I could really see regular show coming back in the next two to three years. And what do you know, not even three months okay, later, boy, we get see you. News. Hopefully they Predicted? keep us updated on how production's going, and also hopefully we get some information as that, to that the plot of the spinoff and what the actual title's going to be. Because as of right now, the only thing that we know is that it's in production, but we don't even know who the main characters are. Well, skip but like I said, I have faith, and I believe it's going to be amazing. But let me know, are y'all excited for this new regular show spinoff? Did you ever think regular show was going to come back? Hey, or no, do you not even welcome to touch back, regular back show and want them to just put it back on the shelf? Let me know in the comments below, and also make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload my- I ain't gonna lie, my boy, you, like, at first in the beginning, I wasn't really convinced, but you kind of got me hyped up, like, I didn't know, um, the original creator was gonna be on it, so I, I got more faith in it now, but I just hope they don't just, like, just try a bunch of different things, try to keep it, well, I wonder if it's gonna actually be on Cartoon Network, or is it gonna be, like, more adult themed? But anyway, y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions down below. I love y'all. Stay safe. And then I'll see y'all next video. We out. Ugh.